y'all welcome to this ep- to this week's episode of genealogy and it's about to get rough because um we got some stuff we got to talk about and i was trying to be like real professional and this week in gaming but now i'm about to give it to you guys straight i've known the fgc to do some effed up things right And I don't think this should be an FGC issue, but it definitely happened within it. And some people in the FGC show they're behind. For those of you who don't know, that is a fighting game community. FGC competitive player infiltration did beat his wife and was convicted of it. But does that mean that she's like out of the clear and, you know, he's going to actually be convicted? No, that just means that she won her case. He could counter sue her, and I, I went through all of this in This Week in Gaming, but he could counter sue her for talking out against it or talking out about it and, and letting people know what happened. And um, she even like had to take down her tweet, and she's pretty much being advised not to say anything. I just think it's great the way most of the people that I've seen on my timeline um, talk about the issue where they're like, yo, infiltration, like I was rooting for you, like you shouldn't do that, that's not, you know, what's good. And other people making memes, making jokes and stuff like that. This is still a domestic violence issue. And I don't think the FGC should be targeted at like, oh man, you guys are terrible, it's the FGC, blah, blah, because this type of stuff happens freaking everywhere. But I am more proud of the FGC for the people who aren't making jokes about it than I am for the people that I saw making memes. And you know what the interesting thing is, is I had to go off my timeline to look at those memes and to see like, you know, to see these things. And there's not a lot of people talking about it. Like since that one day, it has not been a continuous discussion, but I definitely want to see more accountability like from him, from whomever and I definitely want the FGC to keep being great but still keep calling people out on their BS and not letting people get away with this you know should he be banned from playing video games like should Capcom be like no give me your IP like no but to see him out at tournaments and stuff like that I'm gonna feel some type of way and I just have a quick story I don't want to name no names because I wasn't really there but y- you know you, you you know the story I'm sure everybody knows the story there was a FGC player who got like banned and his reputation ruined, which it was probably gonna get ruined anyway, I'm not being funny, but you know, the stories. And um, because he grabbed this girl's butt on stream of someone who was going, you know, and then decided to retract and be like, no, we not cool like that. And, like, he was kind of blacklisted, blackballed, and all this other stuff. And, you know, people really let him have it. Yes, that was a poor choice on his part. And, like, pretty much what you do in private shouldn't really be in public and all that stuff like that. And that could have been handled better. But I feel like are people still going to be, like, high-fiving infiltration like this ish didn't happen? Like, what's good? And also to talk about something that's completely random, like the subject is random, but it pertains to this, is uh, I was learning about all these people who do beat their wives and stuff like that. Like Dr. Dre used to do that or still does, I don't know. But he used to do stuff like that. And it's kind of like to some people, this stuff might be like normal. Like, yo, you're supposed to beat them. You're supposed to do that. Oh, yeah, there was also a country that's really cracking down on it. And they have like the men walk a mile in the women's shoes and like, you know, keep the house clean, prepare the food, go do this, go do that. And so they can cut down on domestic violence and show how much women go through. But then when you talk to the woman, they're like, yes, she should be beat because she burned the food. It's like, no. There's no reason to beat people. Like, think of somebody as somebody's kid. You out just you out here just hitting people's kids. You can't freaking do that. But I'm gonna move on to Telltale. Telltale's a bunch of crap, man. I don't know what's wrong with y'all and trying to get the game finished, but y'all should be concerned of how these people are getting treated. Like overworked and underpaid. I don't care what industry you work in, that's not cool. People out here talking about, oh, well, you know, I wanted to finish The Walking Dead. Why? Why? These people have lost their health insurance, their jobs. They don't know where they're going to next. Most of them live in like a super expensive city. Don't know how they're going to pay rent for next month because they were given their last check. And y'all talking about y'all want them to finish a game? Look beyond your computer screens, people. 
look beyond it. Like there's just more ish going on. And no, you can't save them all. You can't help them all. But we have to keep showing the gaming industry that you can't do this to people. You can't constantly be like, this is what's happening. And, you know, or we don't care how you treat people as long as you produce the product. That's not how life works. Y'all can't be like that. And it's not all of us who are like that. I'm just... I was just really disappointed to see that people are like, so, you know, I don't get my episodes and I get it. You paid for it. You definitely should be upset because I don't care what I paid for. If it's subpar, I'm definitely going to have an attitude. But that's kind of like when the Simpsons had little kids in sweatshops, like working on their stuff. And then they change that policy. It's kind of like you got to be proud that they made that upgrade, like no matter at the cost or, or whatever it is, like you're buying products that aren't being made by kids that you know aren't starving these kids or maiming these kids it's it's just something that we all got to think about you know i'm really sorry for everybody at telltale who lost their job and i really hope something better does come along and that somebody can give them the opportunities that they need the fortnite boob thing the fortnite boob thing is just they did that ish on purpose. Can't nobody tell me they didn't do it on purpose. I looked up an article of how they like animate breasts and stuff like that. And I feel like because, was it? I think in the new DOA, they're not doing that anymore, or dead or alive. And like, that's great. You know, I remember when I was like first playing Ninja Gaiden and my friend was like, oh, look, the boobs jiggle when you move the controller. I'm like, yo, that's so unnecessary. And the way that the the animation of it is, is that it wasn't unnatural. In the Kotaku article that I was reading, when people don't animate breasts right, they kind of just like move by themselves and it's really weird and you're like, what's going on? Um, I think I even seen it in like Soul Calibur and you're just kind of like, what's happening? But I feel like the way they were do that they were moving through that jubilation uh, dance, it was kind of like this looks normal. It doesn't look odd. So that's why I say they did it on purpose. Maybe they didn't do it on purpose. Either way, they fixed that too quick, and they're like, nah, that's not what's happening. The last thing I wanted to talk about is these tariffs. Like. I never thought these tariffs were a good idea, and I'm not gonna lie, I buy some stuff out of the country, so it could be cheaper, because you're shorty on a budget. Like, that's just what that is, and you gotta do what you have to do. But for the tariffs to now be affecting, like, um, graphic cards, and it might affect even more gaming stuff, and, you know, things that you can probably only get overseas. Like, what if I wanted a uh, Kirishima from my Hero Academia um, statue, and I can't get that here. And then I gotta buy that, or, you know, I gotta buy it from somewhere that only makes it in China, and everything over here is made in China, pretty much. Even the MAGA hats, isn't that funny? When Kanye was going on his rant of how they should abolish the uh, 13th Amendment, I was looking at the Twitter, and it was like, yo, MAGA hats are made in China. Like, how crazy is that? It's not even made here. But anyways, I think that Trump should chill the F out, Kanye should chill the F out, and we shouldn't have our graphics cards raised, which AMD and NVIDIA are seemingly doing like a really good job and they're concerned about it. And even one of, one of them said, uh, one of the spokespersons from either company was like, the gaming community will revolt against, it, against this. And while gamers do have money to spend like $500 on free games like Smite, some things you're like, nah, bro, you tripping, tripping. But, you know, at the same time, you're going to need a new graphics card. We're all going to need a new graphics card. You're just going to keep buying PCs because they're going to be cheaper. I mean, it ain't tricking if you got it. But I definitely think that we should get more serious on speaking out against issues uh, that, like, affect me, you, and everybody, and so forth and so forth. Either way, thanks for watching Janaeology this week. Don't forget to check out This Week in Gaming and my Twitch streams. Um, that's all I got.